Some dinosaurs looked super cool, and then there's this guy. Look at this idiot. Oh, hey, isn't that the one from that movie, Dinosaurs? One of them was chasing him around the entire time. Look at those little stubbies. Man, I feel bad. I don't know what Bert did in my local. What? Pork pies, 250. Scotch eggs, 150. Sausage rolls, two. Warm or cold. Black pudding, free with any cob, except Bert. Bert, what did you do? Honestly, I think most of us will be waiting with bated breath to find out exactly what Bert did. What the hell did he do? Wisconsin man banned from all libraries on Earth. How do you do that, though? No, really. How do you ban anyone from any one place on Earth? Or one set of places, I guess? How do you do that? How can you even say that? I don't understand. And yeah, what do you have to do to get punished that way? Hey, Dad, can I see you for Father's Day? Which one of my kids is this? Albert, no. <laughs> Okay, have a good one, Dad. I mean, it's Dad's day, not your day. Oven in the making. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that's just the most unfortunate parking spot ever, I suppose. Sorry, pal. Dog travels more than 100 kilometers to bite its owner after being abandoned. Damn straight. Good dog. Good dog. I just hate this particular room, okay? Oh, my God, not what I was expecting. That is a well-made house, though. The amount of weight that is up there? Holy crap. Wow, who built that thing for you? Woo! I'm really happy we got to see the other side. At least it was a mostly empty room, as far as I can tell, like... Just a treadmill and a little bed in there? Hopefully no one w Oh, hold on a second. I see those supports. I see those supports. Do they have any underneath? <clears throat> you know, because there's still a car on the second floor. When you find that guy that had to evolve and is the reason we're working nine to five and paying taxes, you know, that son of a bitch. He just had to, didn't he? Had to discover fire, make a wheel, and now we all have to live in a society. That's bullshit. And you know what? I'm glad that guy's been dead for a little while. At least he, he's been dead for at least two years. At the very, very least. Don't even ask how this happened. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask how that happened. Alrighty, here at Loretta's, we've got no alcohol, no profanity, no smoking, no nudity, no penguins. Well, what the hell is the point in going to your place then? I don't even know what you do, and I already know that it's pointless to go. I can't be naked or bring my penguin friends. Screw you, dude. That's just not cool. It's actually quite offensive. I'm sorry if you were born in April or December. How many people have a crush on you? Okay, let's see. January, two people. <laughs> oh, February, one person. March, 14 people. April, no one. May, five people. June, two ghosts. July, 146 people. Damn. August, three people. September, your whole area. October, only one right next to you. Thank God there's no one next to me. November, 500 people. Wow. December, even money can't help you have a crush. Yeah, whoever made this definitely wanted to dunk on his friends for sure. Because I, I, I'm guaranteeing you his favorite and bestest friends actually have their birthdays in April and December and he wants to sh** on them for sure. That's what it feels like. Okay, a pet friendly shop. Except for bears, we're not going through that again. Well, that's just fair. It's not even screw you in particular. It's just completely fair. Leaky pipe in a parking lot. Oh my good lord, I am so sorry, dude. Was this parking garage in Antarctica by any chance? Or Minnesota? I have nothing to say in what is new. All I know is I have a very unpleasant granddaughter. Okay, I can understand that. Screw you, fortune cookie consumer. You just ate poison. Okay, well, this one's stupid. Poor people don't deserve love. You know, as a poor person, you're right. Millions of verified singles. Download to date now. Tinder minus the poor people. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use this website and I'm gonna ruin some people's day. I'm gonna waste all their time and then let them know, yeah, I'm poor. <gasps> oh, it's gonna ruin everything. Why does this gray fox always poop on my porch? I'm constantly having to clean it off. It's just getting annoying because it's his porch. I have quickly realized that. Yeah, what are the odds? Meteorite hits a woman sipping coffee on her terrace in rare astronomical accident. Interestingly, the value of meteorite stones can go up to a thousand dollars per gram. Also, how can this even remotely be true? Hasn't there only been one actual reported incident of a meteorite striking a human being? And it was like 80 years ago or something like that? Not a Gouda way to go. Okay. Italian man crushed to death under thousands of wheels of hard cheese. You know, 
at least he went out being buried in $20 million worth of anything. Screw Roland and his walrus-like physique. Who? Wally the walrus was given a floating couch in order to stop him from sinking boats. Well, that's awfully nice. Looks like my brother Roland. <laughs> Fat as an overstuffed walrus. Maybe you should talk to him about that. Saw this on YouTube and damn! Invincible's great supporting cast, except for Amber. The hell did Amber do? Must have gotten a car wash. Seen in Brooklyn. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> of course, it happens every time. Just like right after I bought my car, it started hailing for like a month straight. So I had to hide it as much as I could. A bee just landed landed on my t-shirt while looking at my face and left. Well, what did you do? You probably deserved it. Can't have crap in Quebec. Or Quebec. Quebec. Can't have crap in Quebec. There we go. That's the right pronunciation. And yeah, that's unfortunate. I can't help you, though. Michelle. Cannot contain bad word. Hell. Are you shitting me? I mean, I guess for now, just take one of the L's out, right? Then you win. Screw you on a psychological level. You are now breathing manually. You are now blinking manually. You are now aware of the fact your clothes are touching your skin. You're now aware that there's no comfortable place for you to put your tongue in your mouth. You're now aware that your jaw has weight and you're holding it up. You're now aware that every time you swallow, you hear a little crackle. You're now swallowing and producing saliva manually. Mm. <laughs> you are now aware that you have an itch somewhere on your body. I'm going to see if that one works here. We'll, we'll go back to that one. You are now aware that your nose is always in your line of sight. That's true. Actually, that last one. Close one of your eyes and boom, there's your nose. It, it pops back into frame. Thank God for the way that both of our eyes work together. Also, nice try, I'm immune to this crap now. If you think you're having a bad day, Dan, 21, split with his girlfriend the day before her family won $61 million, including her sister's boyfriend getting $12 million. Wait, what? Jesus, dude. Wow. Screw these six fish in particular. Well, no, not at all. If those did indeed strike at the same time, what, you think they're gonna go in the same places again? You think they, t you know what, it doesn't matter. I don't care, it's lightning. I don't care, dude. Smite! Oh, yeah? Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm getting mixed signals from this image. Is this supposed to mean something? All packed for the boys, except you, Jerry. S'mores, none for Jerry. Damn straight. Screw you, Jerry. Bootleggers Bar and Grill. Screw you, Gary, you snitch. Well, yeah, man. You snitched? You ain't coming back to the bar. Tell you that right now. Bought a 12-pack of Dove soap. They all came out like this. Huh. Someone took them to the belt grinder before <laughs> shipping them out. That's great. Groom Wanted. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. NBA beautiful girl from rich family business background seeks blah blah blah. Doctor industrialist businessman. Software engineers kindly do not call. Oh, is it because people that work in software are all ugly neckbeards? Is that what you think? Yeah, it probably is exactly what you think. All right, let's see here. Korean girl, Yuna Song. Hot Korean girls. Uh, yeah, it's it's funny, but there is a reason for that. The characters were probably stereotypically portrayed in a weird way. What are these credits for, by the way? Hold on, I'm trying to see if I recognize any names. And I do not. What the hell was this for? Now I'm just curious. I'm gonna have to hunt this movie down. Best soap for removing David Spade. Excuse me? This soap is hands down the best on the market. It's light, smells amazing, especially the pomplamousse, pomplamousse scent. It will awaken your senses. Wait. Oh, and it will remove any stench left over by an encounter with David Spade's comedy. Okay, cool. I'm glad that you actually did talk about the soap, though, and didn't, you know, just make the joke. I do appreciate it. Anya Shalotra's Not Beautiful by Current State. Standards, according to casting director Sophie Holland. Okay, let's see. Oh, right! I did hear about this. Casting director Sophie Holland says uh, Anya, is it Chalotra or Shalotra? Never mind. Casting as Jennifer of Vengerberg in Netflix's adaptation of The Witcher was intended to challenge beauty standards. I feel like there is uh, something behind that quote, so to speak. Is th okay, hold on. Let me, let me pause my brain for just a second here. Nope, nope, I, I tried to think of it for a second. I tried to really think on that, what they meant by challenge beauty standards, and yeah, Sophie Holland, what's your damn problem, dude? Taco Bell gives away free tacos in every state except New Jersey. I mean, I get it. Just an incredible media buy in a local Australian paper today. Dear Steve, I hope you're happy with her. Now the whole town will know what a filthy cheater you are from Jenny. P.S. I bought this ad using your credit card. It's the least you could do. A man named Walter Summerford was struck by light 
lightning three times in his life. After his death, his gravestone was also struck. I don't believe that for a minute, actually. He did the frog dirty. It's called the Dirty Frog, and it's actually not that hard a move to pull off. Idiot Frog walks into a wall like the stupid amphibian he is. Hey man, he's doing his best, come on! Game notes. Using a stethoscope to listen to the heart, cardiologists can detect narrow valves, valve leakage, and or abnormal rhythm. Don't bother asking him to check your heart though, Becky. That crushed Titanic sub has more life inside of it than that collapsed troll cave you call a chest cavity. Oh my god, this was at a Rockies game too? D Jesus, Becky, what the hell did you do? Hey, old lady who stole our doormat, you should probably just bring it back. That's super weird, and you're way too old for this sh Yeah, that's a hell of a burn, I must say. Peggy Jones was mowing the grass on her property when a snake fell from the sky and gripped her arm. A hawk then swooped down and attacked. Okay, I feel like the hawk dropped the snake and then had to frantically try and get it back. Because, of course, the snake falling from the sky, it only makes sense at that point in time. But, uh, damn that blurred picture of her arm, though. Woo! That thing really went for her. All courts are for Dennis only. If you have a problem, talk to Dennis. Yeah, I mean, if Dennis paid for the courts, I guess he can be selfish. Oh, Dylan. Dear kitchen team, could you please flush the toilet? Thank you. Not calling anyone out here now. We don't do that. We don't single any of our employees out. Meteorite hits woman in France while she was having coffee on Terrace. Oh, so this is the second one of these we've seen. Uh, did it happen? Is this? Here, let me do a quick Google. All right, uh, just literal first link I clicked on says woman in France hit by suspected meteorite because I guess there's no real evidence that it is or something like that, or rather there's just a bunch of skeptics. I don't know, but I'm inclined to believe it. Uh, who gives a shit if it's true or not? Like, what's she stand to gain from lying, right? No rain for Texas. Damn, God really said absolutely none for y'all. 35 to 44 are the fat ages. Yep, I'm getting there. I can't wait. 28-day personalized workout plan according to age. Yeah, I don't understand. Why between 35 and 44 do you have to be fat or chubby or whatever? Also, really? You think anyone's gonna look like that at 55 plus? Come on, man. It looks like he's getting younger as time goes on. This is weird, dude. Screw Frank in particular. I don't want to. Oh, he played fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see some of these movies just so I can see these legendary credits. A blood-filled tick attached to a dinosaur feather trapped in 100 million year old amber. Man, those goddamn ticks, dude. They're everywhere and I guess they always will be. Take only photos. Leave only footprints. Kill only Tim. Please stay on the trails. Is Tim a danger? Do I have to kill Tim? Do not hire Todd Winstead. For more info, call this number here. Okay, I won't. I don't need to call you. Trust me. Screw your toilet in particular. Jeez, it really did mess that shit up, dude. What the hell did you eat, man? All tabs left open at 2 a.m. are closed with a 15% gratuity. Unless you're Tony D, we add 50% for him. Damn, I have to wonder just how crappy of a person Tony has to be. What, is he abusive to the staff? Has he stolen from y'all before? I mean, I get it. 20 years ago today, we opened our hearts and our disc trays with the launch of the PS2. Congrats on 20 years! Shut the f*** up. <laughs> yeah, I don't think PlayStation of all... Well, I mean, well, I can't say that for sure. PlayStation can be a salty bitch just like anybody else, but they are still, like, the biggest, I guess. What did the turtle do to you, man? What'd they do? Translate this sentence. I cannot read that at all, but I like everything except turtles. So you're like the opposite of that kid that likes turtles, right? You're the opposite of him. That seems kind of mean. Are you just being a contrarian for fun? Kashmir Funk had his content stolen twice now. What? Who? Who? I don't know what that means. Kash Kashmir Funk? Let's see here. Wrong to think this is obnoxious? Got put in the wrong mailbox, opened it because I got curious. Happy birthday. OP gets birthday card stolen twice. I'll just leave this here as OP is not the OP. Calling Kashmir Funk? Damn, I've been stolen from twice now. Hmm. The man, the myth, the legend has returned. Who is that? Also, yeah, looking at that image up there, um, you don't get to get curious. You don't get to do that. That is against the goddamn law to just open someone else's mail and then 
admit you did it because you were curious. It's not yours. You broke the law, and I would be furious. Screw Bob! My wife says that I have the fashion sense of a colorblind pimp. Not saying she's wrong, though. I heard this one at work. Having Bob on your team is like having two good workers quit. Damn! I've been bad at jobs before, but if anybody ever made that joke at my expense, I would quit. I wouldn't want to work there anymore. Like, if you think that lowly of me, I'm sorry. I'm out of here for my own goddamn health. And that's all there is to it. <laughs>